Are you wondering how to begin to understand surround sound in Cubase? Start by creating an audio track and observe on the audio track how the panner is just a standard panner at this point, allowing you to move left to right. Then go up to your studio menu, come down to where it says audio connections, choose the tab that says output and click on the button that says add bus. At this point, you're going to be given a dialogue with a drop down that says configuration. And if you click on that, you're going to see all the various surround configurations. If you move down the list, they become more involved. I'm going to go down to the category that says more 3D and choose this option that says 5.1.2. Hit OK. And now I can see it's created this new bus and it's set up all the different outputs necessary. Let's set up one more bus. Let's go down to the ambisonics category. I'm going to pick this one that says 40A. Now I have this long list of various outputs for what's called the fourth order ambisonics. If I close this screen out and then come back and look at the panning controls, now it's turned into some kind of square with a little pendulum on it. If I double click on it, it shows me a larger pan of control, which I can adjust left to right. And now if I look at the routing of this audio track under the routing tab, if I click on the output routing, not only do I have stereo out, but all those new surround sound configurations have now been set up along with all their various outputs. If I choose this one that says 5.1.2, and go back to the panner. If I double click on this panning control, it opens up an interface for the VST multi panner. And at this point, I can now grab this blue handle and move this audio track around the surround field that we've created up in the outputs. If I go back to the track and change it from mono to stereo, click on the panner again. Now I have two handles, yellow and red, and they can both be moved around in the surround field. If I close this screen out, go back to the routing of this audio track, Switch it from the 5.1.2 to my fourth order ambisonics output. Now when I come down to this panner and double click on it, I get this very elaborate 3D VST multi panner. I get a picture of a head. I can move my blue handle all around the different ambisonics field. You can open up this multi panner and expand it to where I can bring the sounds above my head or below my head or the left or the right. If I return to my routing one more time, Go back and choose the stereo output again. Then once again, return to the panner on the audio output. I'm now once again given a simple left to right stereo panning option. So if you begin creating the various outputs in your audio connections and examining the results they have on the panner of your individual audio tracks, you then begin to get some kind of understanding of the basic concepts of setting up surround in Cubase. For a more complete demonstration and a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the entire subject of surround sound, visit the digitalaudiomanual.com.